Welcome back to Skippers Today. We are going to look at three sleeper pitchers for this upcoming fantasy baseball season. All these guys have ADPs past the 10th round, so you should be able to have your pick at them whenever you'd like. Do not forget to subscribe as we will have a lot more fantasy baseball content coming your way. A video is going to come out every single weekday leading up to the start of the Major League Baseball season. Let's get into my three sleeper pitchers. The first one is Michael King. He's a Sparp. For the Padres, an ADP of 149. Last season, 4 and 8, a 275 ERA, a whip of 115, 127 strikeouts, and 104 in two thirds innings pitched. King was obviously the main piece in the return from New York that sent Juan Soto the other way. And it makes sense by just how good he was at a, as a starter at the end of last season. King was able to limit hard contact at a great rate while also striking out people close to 30% of the time. Looking at his pitch mix from last season, he was mainly sinker sweeper, but his best pitch might have been the changeup. This is an arsenal that obviously suits starting pitching well, even recently seeing a lot of two pitch guys have some success like a Spencer Strider and Kevin Gosman. It was kind of a tale of two seasons for him as he spent half of the season pretty much in the bullpen and a nine starts in the rotation as a starter last year, which is going to be his role in San Diego. He was one in four, but an outstanding 2-2-3 ERA, a whip of 1-1-4, and he had 51 strikeouts in 40 and a third innings pitched. And I think there's even reason to believe he'll be better this season, as he had a BABIP against of 337 while he was a starter. I was reading a Joe Pizzapia article, and this is what he wrote about Michael King. King's K per nine rate over his nine 2023 starts was 11.4. That's higher than his 10.6 mark as a reliever. His 7.6 hits per nine, 275 ERA, 114 whip, and three to one strikeout to walk ratio all scream front end starter. The only question is how he will handle his increased workload. In 2017 and 2018, he threw more than 150 innings, and the Padres were able to get great seasons out of Michael Waka and Seth Lugo last year. So imagine what could be in store for someone we perceive to be more talented in Michael King. Michael King has the chance to be a steal in your drafts, and I really believe in what he did in his time as a starter last season. I will be selecting Michael King at this discount wherever I can in my drafts. Second sleeper pitcher is Ryan Pepio. He is a starting pitcher and relief pitcher as well for the Tampa Bay Rays. His ADP is 1 95. Last season in the big leagues, 2-1, 2 one 4 ERA, a whip of .76. He struck out 38 in 42 innings. When a pitcher goes from the Dodgers to the Rays as part of a major trade, your eye needs to be on them. And as soon as Ryan Pepio got dealt uh, in that Tyler Glasnow deal, everyone's reaction was, what do the Rays know about him? And again, the Dodgers... Uh, pitching savvy organization and the Rays, one of the most pitching savvy organizations. Last season in the big leagues, he threw 40 innings between the rotation and bullpen. His ERA was obviously great, like I said, at 2.14, but he had a FIP of 4.18 and a Sierra of 3.57. Those two things will lead you to think that regression is bound to happen, but I think the sample size was just uh, far too small. He's probably not a 2-1-4 ERA guy in the big leagues, but he can be closer to 3-5 and still be really successful. He had a minuscule walk rate of 3.1%, which would have put him in the 98th percentile and had a great 20.8% strikeout minus walk percentage, but that wasn't thanks to a ton of strikeouts. That was just thanks to the really low walk rate. Still, that is what his strikeout minus walk percentage was. When we look at his numbers from last season, he had a great chase rate. He had a really low average exit velocity against at only 86.7 miles an hour, as well as an upper echelon hard hit percentage at 27.4%. Pepio had a 156 batting average against his fastball last season, and although he only runs it up to about 95, he has seven feet of extension on the pitch, which is in the top 10% of the league. Pepio pairs his fastball with an above average changeup that gets a ton of called strikes and a ton of weak contact, and to finish it off with a slider that returned a batting average against of 174. In his outing yesterday, he was up to 94.7 miles an hour, average 94, so it's nice to see his velo sitting where it normally does. Threw his changeup a mile and a half harder and threw his slider almost two miles an hour slower be interesting to monitor how uh, the Rays kind of work with him and why those things happened as well. Uh, but something to note, something to look forward to in spring training, but I thought he was fantastic. And the third player, AJ Puck of the Marlins. Right now, he is only available as a relief pitcher, but he has an ADP of 359, and it looks like he's going to make the team as a starter 
out of camp. Last year, 7-5, and five, 15 saves, a 3.97 ERA. He had 78 strikeouts in 56 and two-thirds innings pitched. Puck could be the biggest sleeper in all of fantasy baseball if he is successful in his role change. Obviously spent some time as the closer last season, and they are transitioning him to the rotation, and he is coming off back-to-back -back great seasons. And if he's able to continue striking out hitters at a 32% rate, he is going to be an absolute steal. The six foot seven left-hander has put things together and obviously has the talent other people think that as well as he was a sixth overall pick nearly a decade ago at this point. He's a guy who's tall as shit and has 96th percentile extension from a funky slot. It's not as funky as Chris Sale, but is certainly not orthodox. His percentile ranks from last season are off the charts. He was over the 87th percentile in all of the following categories. Expected ERA, expected batting average, average exit velocity against, whiff percentage, strikeout percentage, walk percentage, and hard hit percentage. He said goodbye to a slider last year and introduced a sweeper that had an expected batting average of 194 against it and a whiff percentage of 39%. Buck has a big league arsenal that includes a sinker and a changeup as well. He even flashed a new slider in his first spring appearance at 89 mile an hour instead of his usual sweeper that he throws 84 mile an hour. It had more of a bullet gyro shape that could work like a cutter into right-handers. This transition is very interesting for AJ Puck, something fun to monitor going into this season, and I think this ADP could drop about 100 ranks before we start this major league season. Thank you guys for watching uh, three sleeper pitchers that I have for you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.